All right, for this design, what we're going to do is a little ro robot assembly design. Uh, the limit mates are already set up. They're down here below. Um, you've got to watch out whenever you're setting this up for the mates. Uh, make sure your limits are correct. And make sure they're correct on their directions and everything on the design. So, off of this, uh, now we can come in and we can set up for a mate controller. Mate controller can recognize instantly by collecting all the supported mates. It'll collect all four of the supported mates. Um, the first one's your positional value. And if you wish to make and add configurations for them, you can. On this, you can add a position for the location of the design also. So, let's test them out first by moving them. What you can do is you can move just the controller right here and set up what you wish for the design. This shows you the limits of the movement on the designs and the limits of the movements on the components. After you have created those in certain zones, so let's say we look at this, and let's say we move it to this location right here, and at this time we wish to add this position. So what you can do is you can add this position and hit save. Save OK. The next thing you can do is you can start to move the unit. Move it up. Make sure it's visual whenever you do this. And let's say that we move over a little bit. And a little bit around on the unit. So the minute that you get that, you can hit for save for position 2 on the design. Next thing we want to do is we want to swing around. We want to still stay visual for the unit. And we want to come back down a little bit on the design. So we'll swing back down a little bit on the design. And then we'll swing all the way around. And then we'll look at the head to swing all the way around and start to do another operation. So we hit save there on that design. Now let's swing all the way around on the unit. So let's pick up a little bit. And then we'll swing all the way around. Say right to there. And let's come back down. Right there. And then a little bit back down on the head. So pull it back a little bit right there on that design. And we'll hit save. So once you've created all these orders on these designs, uh, the nice thing about it is now it's time for us to create an AVI for the design. So you can calculations on the animation, and then you can do the save animation as an AVI once you're finished up with the design. So first thing we want to do is we want to make sure you're visual enough on this because when it starts to move up, you don't want it to come off screen on the design. So go ahead and hit calculations on the design. And you can see it run through the movements on the design. So it's gone through all the operations on the design. So now it's time to create and save the AVI. So right here, you can come in and you can save the AVI on what you wish to save. And say OK and it will create that AVI. Watch up here when it's creating this. As it's stepping through and it's recording this video at location on this design. Once it's finished up, go out to your folders and then double click on it and you can check and verify the AVI in process on the design. It does a nice little uh, visual and does a good job for setting up a quick animation for your design. Um, there is other ways of doing this. Uh, if you come in and set it up, you can set up for a mate controller again, but in this mate controller you collect them all. 
you can now set up for configurations. So if you come across right here, we're just in position one. So if we wish to do another position, and we want to keep that position active at a lot of times for a presentation purpose. So we'll pull right there, and then we want to create a configuration. So we touch there, and you can create a configuration for this process. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to possibly swing it around to the other side. We can add another configuration. So you can update the position or create another one. So create a new one. you got to change the number a little bit. Now we come down a little bit. We can create another configuration and then we can go for three and create that configuration. Now we can possibly bring up a little bit, swing out a little bit, and then swing around a little bit to the other side. So off of that design, now we might want to come down and then save for that configuration. So now we've got four configurations that we've created in this process. Each time we do these right here, you won't really see them through the design. So the issue that you have to do here is you have to hit check. Uh, let's check and verify. I haven't tried this yet. But if we collect everything throughout the design, yeah, it's not collecting the configs. They'll probably do that in the future, but check this out. When you come over the config operation, this is where it's really good for a presentation you can set up by just double clicking and it'll put it in those configurations. So if you're doing some type of process over here by machining a component then machining another component and you need this thing to swing around uh, you can constantly put it in those configurations. This will be free at all times under default but once you're in a position like this and you put it in location you can move it out but once you've moved it out, you've got an issue where they can kind of mess up. So be very, very careful to get out of that situation. All I do is I do this, and I'll delete them out. You've got to first get to default, then delete out this configuration, then pull your unit back up to its original limits. You've got to be careful that it doesn't flip the limit on you. Because right now this thing seems like it went and it did a flip on the, the limit. So be very, very careful on that. There I get it to flip around and then flip here. So if I want to check and verify, it seems like the limit that's bad is this one in this design. So if I touch here on this part, I come in and I check and verify on its limit mate. That's the limit mate right there that probably got flipped. So if you edit that mate, edit that feature, you can come down and you can flip its direction in the opposite direction upward. So there it seems like it would be correct on the design. So let's check and verify. So it's still going down. So what do I got to do? I got to go inside there. I'm going to find that mate. And then I've got to flip its dimension up. Now you can see how it'll move back and forth up again. That can be a pain. Uh, it can be troublesome sometimes. Uh, the other thing that you can do is um, when your screenshot capture is up, you can actually create animations so you can record a video and move it around yourself for the design. Um, at this time you would create a new one. So WW, hit save, say OK. And then right here you can actually move it by hand around on the design. So right there you can see but the problem that you have doing that a lot of times is it can get really, really choppy. Where it can be too quick or too slow at a time whenever you're doing it.
So once you've done that, you've created that uh, little video off the design. So be careful. You notice that played with the limits a little bit when I played around with that. I lost a parallel here. So things that I would do is rebuild. And now I've got them back. And then file save all. Talk to you guys later. Have